pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it, towards it. We take an object on a table. You can do it short distance if you take your eye line down to the table height. You can do it at any distance, though. But when you do it in the atmosphere and you do it over a greater distance, other things affect it. But when you do it short distance, you take your eye level down to the level of the where you can see the coin or whatever car or Lego or whatever you're looking at. And then you slide it away, keeping your eye level the same. The angle changes and then the object will appear to disappear. But when you slide the coin away from you or the Lego or whatever you're using and the angle changes, then the bottom yeah. is going to listen. The bottom of that object is going to appear to merge into the the table or whatever you have it in and become one. And you're going to be able to see the top more than you can see the bottom until the top also merges in because of the angle change. It's not reality. We observe things disappearing from bottom up. You can do it on a table with a coin. If you put your camera to the level to the table and you put it on record and you hold a coin right close and you drag it away slowly, the coin will disappear bottom up. So when you bring it back forward, it will reappear top down. Mm -hmm. That's just how we observe things. It's 2023 and it seems we still have people making a ridiculous argument about objects over a flat surface. Listen, people. Two-dimensional surfaces... Don't block, don't hide, don't obstruct, don't obscure, don't get in the front or the bottom of three-dimensional objects. Unless, of course, that 2D surface is curved, or in this case, the camera is placed ever so slightly below the table. Flat Earthers, let's not make this stupid claim ever again. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all thousands of miles an hour towards it, towards it, towards it. Towards it.